I've uh, been with Sony since 1984. I actually started out uh, at Sony Music in Japan doing legal and business affairs work, negotiating agreements, drafting contracts. Then I moved on to actually when I went to New York to promote Japanese artists in the American music business. Then I moved on to uh, the PlayStation business. And I've been with PlayStation now for about two and a half years. Both businesses depend on good software. If you don't have good music, good artists, you're not going to be successful in the music industry. That's also true in the video game business. Unless you have a good developing team, a good artists that bring out compelling, exciting software, you're not going to be in this business for very long. If you look at the PlayStation today, it's best described as being the number one video game platform in the United States and around the world for that matter. No matter how you look at it, whether you're talking about the installed base, the number of uh, hardware units that we have, the number of titles that we have, or if you're talking about the, the pricing on the hardware and the software, you know, we're always in the leadership position, no matter which angle you look at it. The most important thing that I think we're doing different from our competition is making sure that we are delivering what the gamers want. Uh, making sure that it's a challenging game, that there's discovery and that there's immersion, that it presents the overall entertainment value that everybody is looking for. One of the things that I'd like to see in this uh, industry is the ability for the industry as a whole to find and nurture new talent, whether it be artists, whether it be programmers, to be able to push the boundaries of video gaming and game design. We actually have a program called uh, Net Yarose, which allows our Net Yarose members to develop games on their own PCs and share it with other Net Yarose members. And that is in fact our attempt to uh, nurture the future talent uh, in this video game business. What I've learned from Net Yarose is that some games on Net Yarose may not look visually appealing, but there's something in those games that uh, compels uh, players like myself to spend hours uh, on that particular game because there's something about the game that pulls you into the game. And that's, that's the depth of the game. Uh, it's also the concept behind the game, and I'd rather spend time with a game that maybe is not so beautiful, but has that, uh, you know, that immersive uh, quality to it. One of the, uh, the most important things that I've learned in, in this business is, number one, never to be complacent. always be at least two steps ahead of your competition because being one step ahead that doesn't count even if you're in a leadership position you need always to look at yourself as being a challenger uh, otherwise you become complacent and once you become complacent everybody else is going to pass you by so quickly that you won't even know that it, uh, you know what what hits you One of the favorite ways actually for me to, to keep in touch with gamers is to actually go to video game specialty shops, you know, just chat with some of the, uh, the people that are playing the, uh, the interactive displays and, uh, you know, just ask them, so how do you like this game? Uh, you know, what do you think could, could have been done better? And just chat with them because, uh, you know, they really know what they like, what they don't like. They're also very honest about their opinion and I value that very much. You know, I always try to spend time looking at emails from gamers. I spend time trying to also look at uh, complaints that we get because sometimes that's more important to me in improving our business than some of the compliments that we get. I have to tell you, I love the PlayStation Underground and I'll tell you why I like it so much or why I love it so much. It gives us the ability to communicate with the video gamer uh, in, in a very unique way, so that uh, you know you can you can keep up with what's happening in the PlayStation world. The most important is uh, we are able to get your feedback uh, in terms of how you look at the PlayStation uh, as your video game platform. 